but somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell your name? We were just playing. You know, Lady Jessica, what's your account? It was her! Delilah's life! She broke it! saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is.
Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel, feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. We shall into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. Those around you cannot see me. I am here. And I'm not here when you call to me. I heard a story once of a sailor caught forever in a fog. It traveled with her across all the seas. I am a sailor. There will come a time when we must part. I only tell you this in the hope to make easier our farewells. I've already revealed this one's secrets. It should be enough. You want to do more? But there's nothing. his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, He'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. Dindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Dindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Emily. Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I hope. Nothing like the pillows at Dunwall Tower, made of goose feathers. Sit down when you want to talk. speak but it's been three days they tortured him his body is covered with bruises delilah has the throne and my father is missing this is anton sokolov the greatest mind in the empire no emily megan is right i can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other but delilah is beyond my understanding when I came to Sir Konos, 
I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. <laughs> trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes. But there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My that? past is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Megan came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas. It'll be good to see the Royal Conservatory, even if it's closed to the public. One of the more elaborate structures in Karnaka, closed to the public. More of the Duke's questionable rulership. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the vice overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth. 
from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Mary. See you soon. the point of buying wood from a country you never visited. Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. You get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price for what she lives. Oh no, please! I have not. What's going on here? Huh? Where'd you disappear to? Obviously, you are someone with refined tastes. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I'd check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Farewell, and do think of us again. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Bloodfly, 
allies are worse here than any district in Kanaka. And it used to be such a prosperous district, too. Something unsavory going on. I'm getting good and drunk after this. some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracula Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated.
look forward to the day. Welcome back. Please, take your time. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Please, visit again soon. She to say I didn't deserve the promotion. She wouldn't know a promotion if it hit her in the head. In fact, maybe that's just what she means. <sighs> Worst assignment ever. Nothing ever happens. Really? What a bunch of degenerates. Must have had a thing for his much to No, she went missing a day before he did. And someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look. Turn out. Missing people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. Where are you hiding? 
ready, coward! this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. to give you his regards. That donkey-faced Cretan can open his wrist for all I care. Did you bring me something? A silver cigarette case, like we agreed? No, listen. I can't go on doing this. Stealing for you. I'll lose my job. Do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always taught... Finko. On a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship?
the Royal Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Basement. There was work being done, so there's a great missile. Maybe some animal crawled in there and died. Disgusting. You'd think someone inside the conservatory would complain. The place is mostly staying inside. There was a delivery from Jindosh Clockworks a few days back. Whatever they're doing, I'd be happier if the gate wasn't so close to that fountain. Conservatory. I wanted to visit this place with Wyman.
Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The Overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. Like that. Better have a look. on you. something elaborate just before Delilah came to Karnaka. Uh, I wanted to know what it was. I'm teasing Tamina. I read it too. Delilah, you could have done that. 
I've heard the same stories about Paolo the Howler. Jindosh was tiresome. How does this even work? That's not what he intends to do. He will carry them to the harvest market as he swore he would. But the harvest, the harvest of faith, I see it now. All is with the grass. I'm searching for the south east of Harvested and to the south. So you want to die? <laughs> If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. What would you and father advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again.
Brianna, what happened to Jindosh? I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. No. He continued to take her with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still had the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop, but Jendash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. It's a tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my Empress. That set of lenses could be switched with the lenses in the device. Now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the Void. All that's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done! A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, 
I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. I'm not only going to restore things to the way they were. I'm going to make them better. So let's see. What was it? It's a pleasant surprise to see you again. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. 
Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. <laughs>